Let's get to the election. Nothing's changed. Polls move up, polls move, move down. It's still all going to run on the debate. And the debate, which is next week, just understand very quickly what this is going to, what, what people are probably going to weigh this on. For those old enough to remember, when Ronald Reagan ran against Jimmy Carter, everybody thought Reagan was going to bomb the world. When Reagan came out of his first debate with Jimmy Carter, he didn't embarrass himself. And people went, wow, maybe he could be a president. Not because he distinguished himself, but because he didn't embarrass himself. And he basically came in almost even with, with President Carter. Of course, President Carter was looking so negative, it was crazy. But that's what could happen in this, in, in this debate. Donald Trump, the, everybody's expecting him to get handled. Everybody's expecting him just to come out and start blabbing and doing his thing. But the, 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 what everybody's expecting from this man is so low that he has a very low bar to hit. So if he gets over that bar, he could be considered a winner or he could be considered definitely capable of being president at that point and get more independence willing to vote for him. I think Hillary's got everything, to, pretty much a lot to lose and not much to gain here except that she just has to kill him on the issues. She's got to come on in and lay it out there. there there's just no getting around it. And it's going to be a lot of bombast, a lot of everything. There's going to be a lot of, you know, personal stuff, a little pst here, a little pst there. Maybe that's necessary, especially in this election. But it's going to be very tough because he has such a low bar to, to, to hurdle over. So she's going to have a high bar and she's got to jump it. The thing going for Hillary, though, is that people do not like her or do not like Donald Trump. So it's it, you know, those who like Trump love him and those who like Hillary love her, but they're really so disliked, it's, it's incredible. So she has a real shot to come out. If she comes out, doesn't look like she's pandering. If she doesn't look like she's going to be making excuses. If she comes out and just lays it out there, she's definitely qualified. We've said this, that's been my belief for years. She's qualified. She could be a good president, but there's this, she's just playing, it's just, she just won't come out and just lay it on the line. And where's Bernie Sanders been? We said it. I said it right away before he got knocked out. If it's over, he's gone. We're never going to hear from Bernie Sanders again. He'll try to lead something after this election. Nobody's going to listen to Bernie Sanders. He's gone. He should be out there fighting hard for Hillary Clinton. He isn't. He's making it obvious how he feels. It's not the party that, that's, that, 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 that he has to run against. It's that he has to support. It's Hillary Clinton that he's got to support. So you got that. Trump's got a lot of support in the Republican Party, a lot of people listening to him. He's saying a couple of things that make sense. We'll go over those later. But this debate, this is where it's going to happen. I'm just, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be a winner or it's not going to necessarily crown the winner or loser of this election. But what it's going to do is it's going to make Trump look either like presidential or not presidential. And Hillary if she is what everybody thinks she is, which is smart, experienced, knows what she can do. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how this goes. It's still, I think, what's going to kick it off. That's really what everybody's going to look at. If I was the NFL, I'd worry. But I'm a Ravens fan, so I don't have to worry about that game. Okay? Peace.